Hi guys, welcome back. Today is going to be a fashion video, my spring and summer haul. I thought I'd try on a majority of these pieces just to show you guys what they look like, what I've been wearing these last few months, what I'm planning to wear these next few months. I noticed you guys have been enjoying my fashion content, which makes me very excited because then I feel like I can continue making more fashion content for you guys. Now, I do have some swimsuits right here and I have maybe one or two more that are coming. I'm going to do that in a separate video because today I'm just like feeling Feeling bloated not feeling the greatest if you want to see a swimsuit haul i could totally film that maybe in a week when i'm not on my period i'm feeling a little bit better about my body but like this video if you want to see that and also let me know in the comments below let's begin with the piece that i'm wearing today now you guys might have seen this already i've traveled with this a few times it's such a great piece for that but also just for lounging around i got this at free people the last time i checked this and last time i linked this on my instagram this particular color wasn't available but it is available in teal and who knows maybe they have other colors I feel like I can never keep up with free people things go out of stock so quickly and then they'll just randomly come back or I'll just come back in a different color but not the one that you're originally interested in I don't understand free people has been one of my favorite brands for the last decade or so but anywho this set this knit set is so stinking comfortable high-waisted bottoms wide leg pockets matching tank just very comfortable but you look put together and also i don't know if it's because of the fabric i don't know what it is but it makes my butt look so good this is something i would like to wear when i travel when i'm on the airplane but also when i'm just hanging out with my puppies at home i categorize this with the bottoms tops dresses and then kind of like pjs and then i'm going to do the pjs first because i only have two um, so it's not divided by the brand, but I will have everything linked down below. I do purchase things on Depop or vintage items, so I will link similar things down below. So two months ago, I did a spring wish list, and one of the items was a PJ set, which I'm still very interested in. They were out of stock of my size, and then just recently, they came back in stock with it, so I am going to purchase it. I think it's from Yellow the Label, but I just wanted to let you guys know if you've already seen that video. Some of those items that were on my wish list, I ended up getting other. I did not. So anywho, these two PJ sets, uh, do I want to try them on? I feel like I should just to show you guys because I know it's helpful when you're trying to figure out sizing or how it looks. Just keep in mind, I'm not feeling that great about my body. But I will try these on. Maybe, let's start off with the white one. So I'm going to put this on first. I don't know how people change in front of the camera. I don't really love doing that. So let me put this on first. This is what the white PJ set looks like. Very cute, very feminine, a little bit sexy. I was looking for a white PJ set that had like ruffles that I could wear for maybe like my honeymoon or just any bridal related content. You might have seen this on my Instagram. Really cute. It is on the sheer side. As you can see, the shorts are quite short. It's just, you know, something cute. I like how the straps are adjustable. That's really important to me. The little bow detail, just really feminine and adorable. This is a size small. I will have my sizes down below too, just in case I forget to mention it in the video. Now this matching set has more coverage, as you can see. The bottoms are more of a mid-rise. Sometimes I pull them up just naturally because I like high-waisted bottoms, but then it gives you that, uh, kind of like that camel toe bunching up in the crotch area, so kind of just keep that in mind. This is a, what's the fabric called? Pantel? where it's like small little uh, holes, like little dots. It kind of gives that lace feel, but just more coverage. I think it's super pretty. We're seeing it a lot in the cottagecore aesthetic. I love the little rosettes, very pretty. Again, we're seeing that a lot too. These straps, I don't think they're adjustable, are they? No, they are not. This also comes in a few other colors. I love baby blue, you guys can probably already tell. My house, which is like a small little cottage, everything is light blue because it's my mom's favorite color. And whenever I film there, I like to coordinate with it. So this is something I like to wear when I'm at that place. I know I'm extra, but I just find this to be very cute when I wear it there. This set gives me the ultimate coastal grandmother vibes. The pinstripes, the blue, the white, everything about it, the button up, the shorts, like this is what Coastal Grandmother is all about. I did a whole entire short form video about this and styling with a bikini. So cute, very comfortable, a relaxed look. As you can see, the button up is oversized. I think this is a size small and small bottoms. Again, I'll have everything linked down below. So there's a drawstring. There are pockets, but guess what guys? These pockets have an invisible zipper. 
which is really nice so it doesn't conflict with the design but also i hardly ever see pockets with zippers especially in shorts but again super comfy high-waisted it's giving me major jerf avenue vibes i know they have a set very similar to this that was on my wish list i actually ended up getting this for free from frame just quality stuff they're known for their denim which i'm actually going to talk about one of their denim pants this is very luxe definitely more on the expensive side now if you want both pieces they are sold separately but this is something i'm totally gonna wear when i go to the beach the pool even when I'm like going to brunch, like just something so easy where you look put together but still casual. If you see my mermaid core video, some of these pieces are going to look familiar. Also, let me know down below since that video is doing pretty well for me. I kind of want to do a mermaid core lookbook. So I'm not talking, it's just going to be music and I'm going to be showing you guys different outfits or just more outfits than I showed you in my first mermaid core video. So if you guys want to see that, let me know down below. So going back to that, these are the shorts that I got from Depop really comfortable satin with a nice ruffle at the bottom the high-waisted i'll link something similar down below they're just really comfortable i bought them specifically so i could style it with a dress that i also got on depop that i'll show you in a little bit since i got this specifically for that dress i don't really wear this any other time but i did find another chance where i could wear it so it's kind of like pajama shorts as well too because they're so soft and comfortable and sometimes i'll just wear this and this bralette that I found on Amazon, which matches perfectly. Look at that match, guys. Amazon fashion is such a hit or miss for me, which is why I don't typically shop there as far as like clothing. But I really like this. The quality is great. The closure is actually in the front. There's a little bit of padding, so you won't be able to see through it. I just really like the structure of this. It has the adjustable strap in the back. It's just overall very comfortable. Let me show you guys this other bralette that I purchased. This is from For Love and Lemons. I do have the matching bottoms. I just don't have them with me right now. I don't really feel like putting this on, but it's so beautiful. It has butterflies in the front and on the straps and then polka dots. It's mesh. It is see-through. And then there are two larger butterflies on the actual like bralette part. So it's not as see-through. Very feminine. And then this tie it goes around and you tie it in the back i love wearing these types of pieces under lace tops or blouses or anything that's kind of sheer where this could peek through or even something like this with the button up where you could just see a little bit of it you're gonna be seeing a lot of white for me just keep that in mind since i am getting married this year and next year but also i tend to gravitate towards lighter colors so this top is surprisingly from amazon it is double lined so you don't necessarily need a bra straps are adjustable it has this lace trim a little bow in the front you guys are noticing probably a lot of patterns for me like i like feminine pieces just really comfortable stretchy it has that draped look to it so you can see on the side seams just really pretty something that i can layer with or just like wear just denim shorts with you know and then for the skirt i got this on depop so pretty lace it has some applique on the side some sequences it might be a little bit hard to tell from this far asymmetrical cut just really cute i have quite a few mini skirts that i ended up thrifting and this was one of them i'm thinking that i would wear something like this to a bachelorette and then also like honeymoon i'm hoping to wear these pieces multiple times because i'm not someone who likes to wear things once i really tried to keep that in mind i wouldn't sell these two pieces together i'm thinking maybe with the lace skirt something shorter like i'd wear like a crop top or i don't know maybe like a blazer and a bralette under it like that butterfly bralette could be really cute and then with a white blazer i think that would look really chic so this skirt i actually got last year from revolve but i never wore it and i think it's because i got it a little too late where it's getting a little too cool but i love the shape of it i love how it gathers i think last year it was a little too big on me and since i gained some weight it actually fits me pretty well I just love this color rest comfy but also not too short you know i always do that finger roll where it needs to be longer than the tips of my fingers so totally works for that so i'm hoping i can wear this now that it fits me better and now that it's warmer this skirt is one of my favorite finds so lately i've been shopping at depop and obviously that's online and i haven't been going into any thrift stores but this time maybe just a few months ago when i was visiting my friend i found this skirt at first i was like I don't know if this is going to fit me and then it ended up fitting me perfectly it has a back the zipper it's lined it's hard to tell from the bottom but it has a lettuce hem really cute it just adds more shaping it has a beautiful spin to it it's giving me major ballet core but also just like a poodle skirt 
I used to have a pood skirt when I was little. If you guys know my twin dolls, I had a my I still have a my twin doll. But um, anywho, she had her Halloween outfit, and then I had the matching one. And it just reminds me of that skirt. And it's just so pretty, even the shade of the color. Like, uh, I am so excited to wear this. Like, you know, picnics, being cute, just being in my backyard. Both these pieces are from Depop. As you can see, I've been just obsessed with Depop lately. I feel like every month I'm buying a few pieces. I guess that's better than buying something new. This I showed you guys on my mermaid core video. It's just a lace top. It has this beautiful ribbon detailing in the front. It's a little bit big in the chest for me. I still need to get it fixed. You know, so right now there's a little bit of gapping going on. It's really beautiful. I love the shade of pink. And then this skirt, guys. When I saw this skirt, I was like, this is the perfect mermaid core skirt. Now, I didn't have this skirt when I filmed that video, which is why I kind of want to do a lookbook because I have quite a few other pieces that I want to show you guys and show you guys how I would style them. And this skirt I wore just a few days ago. I had this whole entire look and I got so many compliments from women. It was really crazy and I was like, what could it be? Is it just my whole entire look? Is it this skirt? I don't know. But this organza skirt just looks like water, you know? It's supposed to look wrinkly. I just love the color. So pretty. I love maxi skirts. I'm so glad they're coming back in. I'm just not the biggest fan of denim maxi skirts. To me, they just look really stiff, at least on someone like myself who has a small frame. I'm only 5'4", but this one's more flowy. It just has more movement. This is supposed to be for my motorcore video, but then I didn't have to show everything because that video was so long. Again, another reason why I want to do a lookbook. I think I might just do the lookbook myself, even if you guys don't want to see it. I just want to see how my looks I can pull together. But one of the pieces that I got... Where did I get this? Did I get this from Free People? Maybe. It's a bikini top with shells so pretty i was thinking you can wear this a few ways if you're feeling daring you could just wear this on its own with nothing underneath if you're brave enough totally do it or maybe wear this on its own and then style it with i don't know maybe like a linen button up where it's like peeking through or what i was originally thinking is i wear a bathing suit underneath this so maybe like a skin tone bikini and this would go over it you know, can you picture it? You'll, you'll see in my mermaid core lookbook, okay? This is what it looks like, pretty shells. Definitely not something I would actually wear to go swimming, but if you're sunbathing or just maybe like, I don't know, festival wear, just not something you would actually go swimming or diving or anything like that because I feel like the shells would come apart or just, you know, this is something that's a little more delicate. And then the other piece that I got, it's not matching but it is from, I think it's from Free People too. I still have the tag on it. Yep, it's from Free People. It's a one size. I think they styled it with some denim jeans. I don't know how I'd style it. Maybe I would style it with this skirt. I'm not too sure. But this is how it looks. Haven't worn it yet, obviously, since I still have the tag on it, but I'm excited to wear it. So it's this off-white color. It's this off-white color, but it has a little bit of blue and gray. I love anything like this. Like I've always been drawn to pieces like this. Flowers and it has some flower appliques at the top. Super cute, very boho. I kind of like it with this skirt, but just with a different top. I would do something different. Maybe something cropped. I don't know. What do you guys think? Different top, but this could be cool, you know? Another set from Amazon. I showed you guys this in my mermaid core video. So cute. I love crochet. Like, I'm obsessed. But what really got me excited about this, and that was a little more unique, is this top. How it has this asymmetrical cut. I just thought that was really cute. The ruffle straps, really pretty. This is something that I would wear to maybe like a bachelorette, a honeymoon. Even though I don't have that happening within the next few months, I'm definitely going to be wearing this this summer. These have been my go-to light wash denim jeans. They're from Frame. I spoke about them briefly earlier in this video. Very comfortable. Also, short girl approved. At least someone who's 5'4". It hits perfectly. I didn't have to get them hemmed. They're also just comfortable and they're not too tight around like the hips crotch area because that's kind of where I struggled the most. 
just overall a really nice fit and these are my first frame denim jeans and they're known for their denim and these are just again very very comfortable it has some liner holes but nothing too big i'm not the biggest fan of large holes because i tend to find that they get bigger and bigger as you wash them or when you put them on your foot just goes into the hole and they just get really big over time so this to me is the perfect amount of distressing this set is from revolve i ended up buying this because i wanted something a little more dressed up but I think at the time I was going to the city, it was my friend's last day, she was moving, and I just wanted something a little more dressy. And here's my thing when you go to bars or go to clubs, and when it's like winter time or it's like beginning of spring for us, I want to look cute, but I don't want to be sweating inside, but I also don't want to be freezing my butt when I'm outside. It's a very hard juxtaposition, you know what I mean? So this to me was like a happy medium. I didn't wear this top, I ended up wearing something that was more long sleeves where it's a little bit warmer and i don't know how to style this because it's quite skimpy maybe i could wear it with a bralette i'm not too sure i'll have a picture showing you guys but these bottoms let me just show you guys they are so comfortable this fabric it is thin i love this color anything rust or just like a terracotta absolutely loves especially someone who has a warmer undertone now it has a tie i ended up just crisscrossing it and then tying it in the back now if you're not a big fan of showing your belly button, you're not going to like these pants because as you guys can see, this little V moment is definitely emphasizing my belly button. So if you're any and outy, I'm just letting you know. You're showing off your belly button. Makes your butt look really good. I should really get mine hems. They're a bit long. Probably can just do it myself since I used to do a lot of sewing years back. These are just like the perfect going out pants because they're not too thick where you'll be sweating. But they're more dressed up than your regular uh, denim pants or even leather pants can be quite annoying like they're super cute but when you're inside and you're like body to body leather pants just emphasizes the sweatiness you know what i mean so to me these are like go-to going out pants i'm holding this top up because i still have to get it fixed this is probably one of the prettiest tops i've ever found in depop when i saw it and i didn't know the size at the time i was like i have to have this so it's a size medium and as you know i'm typically a uh, small in tops and it's actually not too big in the chest it's the straps and these straps aren't adjustable again vintage so i'm hoping that a seamstress can take some off towards the back. That's what I would do, what I used to design. I'd probably just take it in the back and bring it up because this is how it should look on me. But in fact, it's way lower. It's like down here. You would totally see my boobs. But this is so stunning. It's a corset. As you can see, the lace has some wear to it. It doesn't look as bright as it used to look. It definitely has more of that worn in gray look to it. But it's so gorgeous. I didn't care. Maybe I could bleach it. I'd be a little too nervous. I would have to get it professionally done. And I don't even know if they could do anything about it. I still love it. When I saw this piece, I was like, ooh, this is perfect for my honeymoon. But also just to wear it with other things. I'm finding pieces for my honeymoon and bachelorette party. But I'm also considering them as to wear them with the rest of the things in my closet. And this is absolutely gorgeous. So beautiful. The detailing on the bottom. The ruffles. If I end up having a kid, I hope they love the pieces that I've collected over the years because this one, I'm not giving up on it. <laughs> Another feminine top that I found on Amazon. Really surprising because the quality is pretty good. Like usually when you see buttons and they're covered with the same fabric as the top, it would increase the price, but this was incredibly affordable. Right now I'm wearing it off the shoulder, but you can also wear it like this. I just think this is the perfect spring summer top. I love eyelet. It's one of my go-to fabrics that I love to wear when it gets warmer because it's so breathable and lightweight. And this is just so stinking cute. If you like the croquette aesthetic, the cottage core aesthetic, you're gonna love a top like this because this can go with a lot of different things. I think this is like a nightgown. I would actually style this and wear it out and about. So since it is completely sheer, I'm just wearing like a sticky bra underneath it. Um, I was wearing this with some white high-waisted shorts. It was really cute. Since it is long enough, meaning it covers more than enough of my butt. And then what was I wearing under this? I think I was wearing like a bralette. That was white, really cute. And then 
think I was wearing it with this cardigan. Either way, I want to show you guys on Instagram how I style these pieces. Maybe later this summer, I'll show you guys a summer lookbook if you guys want to see that. I know, I'm thinking of a lot of video ideas in this one single video. So let me know what you guys want to see as far as fashion content. I ended up actually getting this for free because I bought that white bustier top. The one that's like really long, show my boobs. I got that, this blue lace top and then that white lace skirt together at the same Depop shop. So she ended up giving this to me for free. It's really cute. It's a little big size medium, but not too big. I don't know, it's something that I would totally pick out for myself. I feel like she knows me. I'm just gonna put this over it. I know this outfit's looking very ridiculous, but I don't have anything else to wear underneath. I don't even know what you call this exactly, but it's a crochet top, I guess. But I was thinking of styling this for my mermaid core video and then again, I never have to show you guys. This is what it looks like. I feel like this would look really cute with a bikini. Am I wearing it backwards? I don't think I am. I don't think there is a backwards or even a tag on this. But again, love the sleeves. I love crochet. I think this is a great styling piece. Oh, and it's from Amazon. Another Amazon find. Definitely check out my Amazon shop below. Categorized it with fashion, uh, beauty, skincare, and home. So this little top, I think is from Urban. I don't usually get tops where it's just a single tie because I find that to be very risky. So how I would style something like this, because originally I think I was going to wear this top for my save the date, but then I wore something else that was a little more romantic. But I would wear this with like a white bralette underneath so you're a little more covered because I wouldn't feel comfortable going like this without a bra of some kind. But it kind of looks cute with this nightgown and dress thing. I like the ruffles on the sleeves for the bodice. Really cute. Very sheer. Keep that in mind. I feel like you should not be putting this in the dryer. Do a delicate cycle because how thin it is. Alright guys, I'm starting to get lazy. Didn't even take off the pieces that are underneath me. But this button up is from Frame. I think it's 100% silk. Longer. This is a size small, so soft. You definitely wear this to work, but you can also dress it down, make it more casual, wear it with some jeans and maybe some sandals. I love having pieces like this that are classic that can go with a lot of different things. I rented this cardigan through Newly, which I kind of want to buy because I love it. It's chunky. I love the color. The buttons are so I think I even styled it with this piece. So pretty. Look at these puffy sleeves. Again, very springy, summery. Not itchy, just very cozy. I just took a snack break because I was getting really hungry, really thirsty. We're back, we're towards the end. So this romper is from Newly. I rented it. Again, very pretty, small floral print. Very much me. I don't typically get rompers or one pieces or jumpers because I have a longer torso. So it looks really good in the front. I don't have too much pulling going on, like ever so slightly. I think that's because these straps are adjustable, but it does look a little off in the back. You see this gathering going on? Like you see what I mean? Like it's almost a little too big, but if I went down a size, I don't think this would have fit me. This is my typical size, but really cute so if you have an average size torso and even a short torso i think this is gonna look really cute on you i don't feel like putting this dress on because of the tie in the front it takes a little bit longer for me to get this on but i did wear this in my warm core video so if you guys want to see how this looks it's stunning another piece that i found on depop seriously it's gorgeous i've been finding some great finds on depop so if you guys don't shop on there you should definitely check it out this is just like one of a kind when i saw it i was like i had to get this it is so beautiful i haven't had the chance to wear out and about I haven't really had a reason, but you know what? When I find these pieces, sometimes you just gotta wear them. Even if you're doing something super casual, you know? You gotta wear those pieces because if not, they'll just sit in your closet and they're just too beautiful not to wear. This dress is giving me major vintage vibes without it being actually vintage. So you can buy this on Free People. Now when I tried to link this on Instagram earlier this month, I wasn't able to find it, so they might be out of stock. I'm hoping that they have this dress back in stock because it's truly beautiful. Like, I've been looking for a dress like this. So I love, it might be a little bit hard to see, a handkerchief hem. Really hard to find. It's just not as popular. Absolutely gorgeous. And I also love patchworking. So this is a floral dress. And then you have some sheer lace going on right here, over here. Just really beautiful 
low back i love the colors i love the lace straps the only thing is that these straps are not adjustable i don't know what it is but anything that is vintage typically if it's not adjustable the straps are just so long on me now these straps are just a little bit long on me but i think i can easily get them fixed in the back and they would just take it in just by a little bit i think i only need maybe an inch because ideally i would like it here but it actually falls right here it's so beautiful it is lightweight thin but you can't see through now because there's a lace paneling right here it does get pretty high but i can't see my underwear it's just something to be careful again it's just so stinking pretty i love it so much i sell this with a cardigan when it was cooler out now that it's warmer i could just totally wear this on its own i got this dress from newly it actually fits pretty well on the hanger it kind of looks like it'd be a little too big for me but it didn't end up working out one the underwiring, I thought it could work out. I should know better, especially someone with a smaller chest. This was just, even if I had a larger chest, it was just too much skin. Like, so much just was barely covering anything. But then also, although it does have lining, the lining stops about here. But it's so short to the point that you would see your underwear. It had a lot of potential, you know? And I like the color of it. Adjustable straps, you guys know I love that. It just didn't work out for my body type. This dress is also rented through Newly. Again, I love a floral dress. This is fitted. I was surprised that it doesn't have a slit anywhere, but just a really pretty print. The fit is really good. And I really haven't had the chance to wear it. Hopefully I can wear it during Memorial Day weekend, but it's pretty. Would I buy it? Not necessarily. It really has to blow me out of the water or be super unique. But it is very comfortable and very cute. This hot pink dress fits so well. It's something I wouldn't typically go for. Like, I like this silhouette. That's something more fitted. It hits right above the ankles, but it's not too fitted. And it's very comfortable. I really like the shoulder detailing. You can see, like, the minimal checkered print. Just a really pretty, fun dress. Something that's out of my comfort zone because of the bright color. But it was really fun to rent. I totally forgot about this top. It's a corset from For Love and Lemons. Again, you guys know I love ribbons, I love lace. This is an eyelet, really beautiful with the light pink detailing. So this came out in a baby blue over a year ago and I missed out on the opportunity and I was like, all right, if they come out with this again, I gotta get it. And they ended up coming out with a pink one. I love even just the bow ties. I ended up getting the matching bottoms. I don't typically do that just because it's very rare that I wear it in a set but these are high-waisted again really cute i'm not gonna wear these too often i will say the downside to these is that they don't have much stretch to them specifically in the hip area there's just not enough give so this doesn't work out if you have wider hips and i don't even have hips that are that wide but i think because my butt is bigger it's just hard to get these on like i really gotta squeeze into these but once you get them over your hips they feel good so just keep that in mind if you end up getting these so if this fits true to size you actually could just get your bra size if this looks a little off from the rest of the video that's because i had to refilm these last few pieces my mic died yesterday and it's really hard to notice when it does it hardly ever dies but it unfortunately did since this video is a bit longer than what i usually do but anywho this dress gives me major Carrie Bradshaw vibes. I rented it through Newly, so pretty. I haven't even had the chance to wear it. I'm gonna have to send it back in a week. So I need to create some content with this dress. I need to wear it in another video. It's so beautiful. Again, we've been seeing a lot of these rosettes, whether they're small or something larger like this. My wedding dress that I'm wearing this year, I have a rosette and it's like a one shoulder dress. Not as big as this, it's probably like the small. But this is so beautiful, so feminine. The tulle, I love a light pink. I'm actually going to get high tea with my friends this weekend and if I wasn't a bride-to-be, I would definitely be wearing something like this. And I love the cut, an A-line. It'd flatter everyone. This next dress I'm not going to put on. It was a major dud. I can't even return it. 
I got it on Etsy. So I showed a dress like this that was very similar on my spring wish list. This is the front, really pretty again with the rosettes. I love the ruffles. Why this didn't work out for me and why this one is different from the other ones I've talked about is because, I don't know if you guys can see, if you see the hem, it's just like a rectangle. I don't know if you guys can see that shape right here and it looks so obvious and odd. I feel like this hem should have been either a handkerchief hem or something more asymmetrical. It just looks really weird on me. And also since it's so sheer, it just doesn't work out. The quality is not that great. I'll still link it if any of you are interested in this and those things don't bother you. I was hoping I can wear this to maybe like a bachelorette or my honeymoon, it just didn't work out, unfortunately. Since I can't return it, maybe I could flip it and make it into something else. I feel like maybe it could be better as a skirt and I could rework it. I used to do a lot of sewing back in the day, so I don't know, maybe I can pull it out and this could be a project of mine this summer. Some of you might have seen this piece on Instagram. I really got it because of the colorway, like this baby pink, the lavender, so cute. It does come in some other colors. I just really like the pastels. And I was looking for something that I could wear in like some get ready with me videos or like a morning routine where it's a little more uh, cuter or a little more dressed up than wearing, I don't know, like a sweatshirt and sweatpants. It's a little sexy, feminine. It does have some high slits, so I know some slip dresses you can wear out and about. This one, you really can't because as you can see, it is quite short, but it's really the slits. So you could totally style it and maybe like wear some shorts with it or something, but I'm mainly wearing this at home. The straps are adjustable with a bow, so not your traditional way which is really nice because you guys know when I took this out of the bag, by the way, I got this from Free People, this part of the chest was like down here and I was like, oh no, this might not work out, but I was able to tie it in a way where it fits me a lot better. This vintage slip dress is so different from anything that I own as far as my slip dresses. As you guys can tell, I have a lot of slip dresses. I do want to show you guys all of my favorite vintage pieces. I think that would just be a lot of fun. This is by Christian Dior. I got it on Etsy. I had this in my cart literally for months, I think since last fall, so I was surprised that no one bought it. I love the color, right? I love the pastels. You don't really see these colors that often in something vintage again the small little rosette is really cute and then the sheer the lace right around the bodice the straps are really thin now these straps are not adjustable and again i always have that problem where it's a little too long ideally the fit would be better if it's like about here so if i can get it shortened about an inch i think it would be good to go it's just a beautiful long maxi slip dress. And my last dress that I have to show you guys is this one. This was going to be my wedding dress. It's from Surat Vintage. They're pretty well known, especially among celebrity stylists and celebrities. Their pieces are definitely more expensive. A lot of their pieces are reworked like this one. So online, this looked light enough that it could have been a wedding dress, but in person, it's definitely more peachy, which is why I'm not wearing it this year. But I love the lace, the bead work the cow neck it's so beautiful i really wish it would have worked out i love this silhouette it's just so gorgeous and because of the beadwork it's a bit heavy but it has a lot of movement and everything i'm not sure where i would wear this to or anything because i don't think i could wear this to a wedding because i feel like it would be a little too light and my original plan was i was gonna wear like a slip under this so i'm not sure like am i gonna resell it I don't know. I really love it and the fit is really great. It's so hard to online shop, especially when it's a vintage piece, to see if it would fit or not. Should I resell it or just keep it? Maybe I could wear it for my honeymoon? I don't know. I just wanted to show you guys this piece because it's really stunning. They have a beautiful collection of vintage pieces. We're at the very end, so let's talk about accessories. So these earrings I got on Amazon. They're just fake pearls and they have a little tail at the end. Really cute because when you put them on, they, let's see, they look like they're kind of hugging your ear. They're really pretty. They're lightweight. That's a big thing for me. I don't like wearing heavy earrings, so it just pulls my ears a little too much. So these are really cute. A couple of other pieces that you guys have probably seen in my more record video, these shell hair clips. They come in a pack of three. One of mine broke, but I just have to hot glue it and then I'll be good to go. And I like to wear them like this. So pretty. And these are real shells. This necklace, a shell necklace. Again, really beautiful. 
perfect if you're into mermaid core uh what else coastal cowgirl coastal cowboy you just make it looser or tighter just by doing this and then my last necklace i have to show you guys i spoke about it in my shorts videos and on instagram so this necklace which i can't remember the instagram shop but again i'll have it down below so it's custom it has my name on it at first you might not even be able to tell that that's my name but that is my birth flower it's so beautiful and delicate also comes in silver and rose gold i love this so much so my fiance got this for me for valentine's day that I got two for my best friends and it's going to be a gift for them because I'm going to ask them to be my unofficial maid of honors. So if you guys don't know, or if you haven't watched any of my uh, wedding videos, I'm not having a traditional like bridal party. It's just gonna be me and Anthony and to save money. And honestly, I just didn't wanna choose and pick people. I just really wanted people to be in the crowd for the ceremony and not have this huge line of people standing. I don't know, I just don't like the look of it unless you have maybe one or two people. And I just, I want people to enjoy themselves. I don't want them to feel like they have a job, you know? I just want them to have a good time. So those are the necklaces and I'm going to give them to them this weekend during high tea. I'm just so excited. I've been planning this for quite some time. I think this necklace would be a really special gift for your significant other, a friend. I think it's a great bridal gift. They could totally wear it on my wedding day or just really for anything. I just knew I didn't want something that said bride, maid of honor, bridesmaids, you know what I mean? I wanted them to be able to wear it for years on end. I totally forgot about these body chains. So this one has small little butterflies. And then this one, which is the one I wore in my mermaid core video, has these like faux stones. I love the colors. And I've been really enjoying these. I know body chains have been a thing for some time. And I really got into it because of that mermaid core video, but I really like it, especially with bikinis or like crochet or just anything summery. I have quite a few pair of shoes. Let's talk about the ones I use the most. These are from Free People. They do come in a few other different styles if you don't want these like flowers. These are so comfortable. Typically, I don't go for a sandal like this because I feel like they make my feet look wider. But I was looking for something that I could just slip on and walk the dogs, let them go to the bathroom because before that, I used to just wear my boyfriend's Nike slides. And whenever we would take a walk together, I would be wearing his slides, but then he would have anything to wear. So I was like, all right, I need to get my own. But I wanted something a little more stylish, a little more feminine. So these are so comfortable. The one negative is that they fart. Yes. I did say that, these shoes fart. Now, not every single time you make a step, but enough that it's noticeable, at least for yourself. I don't know about the people around you, but I do want to mention that because the reviews will say that and it can definitely be annoying, but I was like, these are too cute. I'm going to do it anyway because I'm really just wearing these to walk my dogs. Just like casual things, you know? So it's like, whatever, they fart. No big deal. <laughs> macrame sandals. I love a good pair of macrame sandals. These are my second pair. I had a different style a couple years ago. So these are from Free People. You're gonna see a lot of negative reviews and people saying to size up. I end up getting my true size because I am my true size pretty much every single time. So I knew that wasn't the problem. People are saying to size up because the macrame is so tight. As you can see, there's like not a lot of room for your foot and that's because the macrame needs to stretch out a bit. So I've been wearing them just in the house for now just to stretch them out. And another thing you could do is you could put like a sock ball in there just to get that shape. But I love shoes like this. These heels I got last fall. I never did a haul back then. And I do want to mention them because I think they're also a great spring summer heel. This is like perfect for date night or when you're going out on the town. But they're a kitten heel, so very comfortable. I love the square toe, the tiny little buckle. It does come in a few other colors. This is from Tony Bianco. And they're just very comfortable. My dilemma when I used to live in the city, especially when you do anything at night where you want to be a little more dressed up, but you still want to be comfortable. I always look for shoes like this, where it's a little more dressed up, a little more sexy, but you're not having to wear a full-on stiletto. You know what I mean? I recently discovered Del Cie Vita. They're a pretty affordable shoe brand. These heels, which is the perfect height for me, around like 30 inches, this is like my perfect heel height, where I get height, but it's still comfortable. This is like the perfect heel that would go with everything. Like these are the types of shoes that you would bring on vacation. Usually something that's made out of this material where it's a little more rough is not the most comfortable because it rubs against your skin in a very like rough way. But these have been comfortable ever since I got them out of the box. These have been my go-to sandals. I just got these heels Dulce Vita collaborated with for Love and Lemons, which I'm just shocked that they didn't come out with shoes earlier. 
I love, again, the little rosettes. Very cute. This also comes in, I believe, red and black. It's a kitten heel. It ties up around your ankle. I don't love that, mainly because it can be a pain in the butt to take them on and off. And again, when I used to live in the city and I go from one apartment to the next visiting my friends, I'm someone that likes to take their shoes off whether my friends do it or don't. I don't like wearing shoes in my house. So just imagining myself living in the city, taking these on and off, I'm just like, ugh, I don't want to deal with that. But I was like, I have to get these. These are so feminine and adorable, and they're actually very comfortable. These last heels are very special to me, and that's because they are designer heels. They're from Prada. They're secondhand. I can't believe that they gave me the original box and everything. I was really surprised. I wasn't expecting it. So I was looking for a white heel that was a bit shorter so i'm getting married this year because of my mom she lives in assisted living some of you may know that some of you may not so she's going to be in her wheelchair and i just didn't want to be towering over her and feel really tall because i was going to wear my save the day heels which are very comfortable but they're like four inches plus the platform they just make me like i don't know five nine i just wanted something a little more dainty and look at these i don't even think they've been worn open-toed bow small kitten heel these are a 30 and a half i took the chance so i'm again like i said before a true seven these fit perfectly i took the chance because it's an open toe and i was like you know what i can make it work if it is a tiny bit big but they fit so well i'm so excited and i was like i want to treat myself to something special because i can wear this beyond my wedding beyond like my bachelorette or my honeymoon or even this weekend when i asked my friends to be my maid of honors i could see myself wearing this for other occasions even for other weddings that i attend or any like summer outings you know what i mean like it's not too fancy or too blingy where i feel like i can't wear it and it would just stay in my closet I know I'm gonna wear these heels again. These heels are definitely very special to me. This has been a very long video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed my spring summer haul and everything. If you guys wanna see the mermaid core lookbook, what else? A bikini haul or a summer outfits lookbook, let me know down below. I love to do that. I definitely have two out of those three videos ready to go that I can film very, very soon. And before you leave, like this video, subscribe to this channel for more fashion and beauty content. I'll see you guys in another one. Bye.